Yeah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. It's um, my take on it with Dr. Victor Obasi. Today, due to popular demands, I'm going to revisit um, a topic that I dealt with before, which is um, how often should I be checking my eyes? Every time I tell um, people that I'm an eye doctor, the first question they ask me is, uh, how often should I be checking my eyes? The, the answer to that question is not cast in stone depends on two major factors, which is um, your age and um, your medical history. But ideally, the first eye examination should be done when the child is three years old, at least in preschool, preschool age. The reason for this is um, if there's any problem, it is easier at that point to deal with than when the child is uh, much older. I'm a strong proponent of um, Prevention is better than cure. Uh, as a practitioner, I've seen cases where uh, things that could have been easily taken care of is left to uh, is left to become a big problem later due to um, negligence on the part of the of the uh, of the parents. And uh, negligence in this case, some of the parents may, uh, is not intentional. It's just that. Um, it's just lack of um, knowledge or lack of uh, information. And that's why uh, I do these videos. Now, a lot of parents will also tell you that, oh, the child, did not co child, the child never complained of any vision problem. Let's look at it from this way or from this angle. Uh, most people walk with both eyes open. How often do you actually close one eye to see how well you see? then close the other one to see how well you see to tell if there's a difference between the vision in both eyes. Least you're talking about a little child that's um, three or four years old. So that's the list of their worries. They just want to play. So most times, um, we as uh, parents or as adults should form the habit of trying this with ourselves. You, you don't need any equipment to do it. Close one eye, see how well you see. Close the other eye, see how well you see. If there's a discrepancy between both, then you should go to the eye doctor to have it, um, to have it checked. But even at that, we are talking here about just central vision, how well you see. We're not talking about the peripheral vision. Uh, when you go to, an eye to your eye doctor, we're looking at two things. We look at the health of the eye from the back. Then we look at uh, how well you see uh, central vision straight ahead. Then your peripheral vision, these, all these things have to come together how well the muscles in the eye work together, the binocular vision. There are so many things that your eye doctor looks out for other than just um, how well you can, uh, you can see or how, well you, or how far you can read. So these are the reasons why you should be going to your eye doctor to check. Now, in terms of age, like I said, the first eye examination is done at three. Then from three to 19 is every year, rule of thumb. Then from 20 to 64, every two years, from 65 and above every year. This, uh, this, the, the rules I just gave is based on the fact that you have a very clean bill of health. So if your medical history is not uh, perfect, then these rules may need to be changed. And in that case, it will depend on your eye doctor to determine how often they need to see you based on your medical condition at the time. Now, uh, we've dealt with the age. The next thing I said is um, medical history. In terms of medical history, if you have something like um, diabetes, then you need to see your eye doctor more often because these are conditions that can easily affect uh, diabetes is number one cause of blindness. So if you are diabetic, you need to be checking seeing your eye doctor more often than uh, what I just said. Uh, if you have blood pressure, if you have autoimmune diseases like um, uh, arthritis or something like lupus, which requires you to take medications like uh, prednisone and uh, maybe plaquenol or uh, hydroxychloroquine as it's called, then uh, these two medications have um, a very li high likelihood of affecting um, the eyes. Prednisone will cause early cataract and uh, glaucoma if it's taken for a long time. Then uh, plaquenol can affect the macula causing chloroquine maculopathy. So these are uh, uh, other reasons why uh, I said the answer to that question is not cast in stone. It depends on uh, your medical history at the time and um, your family, your, you depend on your eye doctor to guide you through how often you should be checking your eyes. 
Then, if you have something like sickle cell, also the, the rate at which you check, the frequency at which you check your eyes will also be different. Again, it depends on your eye doctor based on what he or she saw today. Can now uh, say, okay, I want to see you in six months. I want to see you in three months. I want to see you in a year. So that's why I said the rule is not, um, it's not cast in stone. Your, your medical history. Now, if you have a family history of diabetes, your, your eye doctor may want to see you more often. Uh, if you have a family history of macular degeneration, your, family doc your eye doctor may want to see you more often again. So these are things that are variations in the rules, and these variations is best left to the professionals to handle. So most sense, your, between your family doctor and your eye doctor, they work out the schedule that um, will bring out the best results for you. So other than that, uh, there are also things like um, if you have a corneal dystrophy in the family, or maybe like something like keratoconus. If uh, a patient in the family is diagnosed with keratoconus, every member of that family, they have to go get checked. So it is important that um, uh, we don't take these things. Um, we don't take these things lightly. It is uh, for your own good and for your family. So another good reason for checking your eyes often is um, most times your eye doctor can diagnose things like um, diabetes, blood pressure, even tumor, brain tumors, that. Uh, 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 could be an imminent danger to, to the patient. Uh, without you going to the eye doctor, most times you don't even know. Uh, patients can come in for headaches, and uh, at the end of the day, they find um, whatever the, what the problem is, it's not just the headache, but something uh, more serious. So that's why it's also very important to see your eye doctor and um, do, it, uh, do it frequently too. Uh, most times, uh, if, we, if, we, if these things are diagnosed early, then the prognosis is a lot, is a lot better. So it's up to, uh, up to us as uh, adults to uh, guide the kids and also look out for our own, uh, own interests. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I think um, this uh, will probably address the uh, question. And if there are any comments, throw them in the comment section. If you have questions, throw them in the, in the comment section. Uh, I always uh, I enjoy going, reading those comments and um, uh, the questions. It's, it's, what I do for, it's what I do for a living. So please feel free. Whatever questions you have, throw them in the, comments, uh, in the comment section. Other than that, continue to share our videos. Uh, uh, you don't know who's going to benefit from it. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Next week, I'll see you guys again.